remember everything we went through. The 11 and 17 just three years ago. And now we're in a national championship game, you're sitting at 37 and 2. You reflect on that. It's like, man, what an amazing you know, journey, and what an amazing opportunity ahead of us to play for the national championship. As much as you dream about things and talk about them, you still don't know if it's actually going to come true. You got to try to make it happen, and this was it. We have one last thing to do, and that's to win the national championship. It was a little bit hard to believe that we've made it. It's the goal that we've worked for. It's the game that I've watched for as long as I can remember as a, as a child. Winning the national championship was a storybook ending. I thought it was going to happen, but boy, sitting there in that locker room before the game, you do feel the, the heaviness of the task. You can't help but feel it. It's everything. championship game you know coming down the stretch I'm feeling that we're going to win most all the games that we're in like that we, we plan to find a way to win and so I'm thinking that we're going to do the same thing again they called instead of a charge which I was hoping for they called a block and then someone winds up being a three-point play. Jay was doing what coach would have liked him to do, which is take the charge. It's something that we've been doing all year. And a video, it looks like it was a successful charge. But obviously the, the referee spelled otherwise. You know, it was kind of a deflating moment. I had to change the momentum. But because we had been in those situations time and time again, we still believe. We'd always have come through and made you know, plays late to win. So the belief to do it, no matter what the circumstances were, we had that. short and it never hit the rim and we didn't get for ourselves a block out we laid the thing in and so you know all the block out drills you do when you miss the block out and that's the that was the difference between when it was the clock was running out and you come to the realization that we're not going to pull this one off it's the only one that got away there was a feeling of disbelief that we could come so close and not clinch the deal. You know, the storybook ending did not, you know, did not occur. You know, we've been through getting beat before, but it was final. Final. Final career-wise. Final in every way. That was <laughs> That was the last year they made the losing team sit out on the court while the other team cut the nets down and get their watch. It was crushing. You know, they have to sit there and kind of witness, you know, celebration. I remember that design that spinning.
extra time. And I remember us shedding a few tears. If I could do one thing and do it different, it would be to coach you guys again in the championship game. Because you guys were, of all the teams, you were most deserving of winning the whole thing. You know, you know when people say you have regret, that's a regret of mine. I'm okay about losing even in, not that good, but some of the <laughs> national championships. I mean, we've lost a few times, but for, for you guys, you know, I, I love our team. I didn't like our team. I loved our team. I believed in our team. It just wasn't the, the whole thing, you know, it was that close. If we had won that game, there's a likelihood that that team would have been put with some of the greatest teams ever. So the fine line between among the greatest ever and footnote in history is pretty thin. It turned out it was one line. And even though we didn't win that year, the whole thing in 86, we eventually won because of you guys. You guys set the foundation for everything. I hope you know that and appreciate it. You guys were the roadmap, and uh, I've been a lucky guy. Hopefully all those guys still feel a part of the five national championships that we won because they are. They certainly are. I wouldn't trade my time for anybody else's time, and I love the time we played there. It was a tough time.